my baby's leaving me. She said she's done with me. Never. <laughs> so where will you be when you get back with me? Reno. I'm counting the days. If you don't know, I am riding around the country on what I'm calling the Great American Convoy, and I'm riding on this 2023 Road Glide Special Anniversary Edition. It's even numbered paint. 1574 out of 1600 and when I'm done with the convoy one person who showed up at one of the Harley Davidson dealerships You don't have to be on a bike. You don't have to ride with us You don't have to donate just show up at the dealership and say you support our country and one person who shows up there Will win my bike bikes are invited to join me at my hotel stops and ride out to the next stop or join the convoy at any one of the 120 Harley Davidson dealership stops it's 120 because it's Harley Davidson's 120th anniversary so Happy birthday, Harley Davidson. This is the couple right here I want to introduce you to that is from the furthest away, I believe, today. You get, where are you guys from? Uh, near Toronto, Ontario, Canada. All the way from Canada? Yeah. Yes. And you guys rode in? Yes. Rode in. And how was the ride in? We left in the snow and the sleet. Uh, it took about six hours to get out of it. How yeah. far are you coming? We're going for a month. A month? Yes. We're hanging with you for a while, bro. A month on yeah. the Great American Convoy, man. Yes. It's been a pleasure having you all so far. And we got this little thing. Are you a convoy dog? We got a lot of great riders. We'll meet some of them on the road, but let's put down some miles and get to our next destination. Welcome to Red River Harley Davidson. We rode in this morning from Lawton, Oklahoma, here to Red River, and then we're gonna head out toward uh, Midland, Odessa, Texas. And of course, my friend, the Law Taggers are here, and is this the new Hot Bike Magazine? Yes, sir. Oh, man, I think I might be in this thing. Yep, definitely. There it is, gearing up for the long haul. <laughs> Yay, Hot Bike Magazine. Y'all, it is back at print. This is something we gotta support as a community because print magazines went away fast, and now we got one of them back. One of my all-time favorites. How many miles in today? Uh, 274. Mm -hmm. Yesterday evening, I was waiting for you. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's badass. Hello, I'm Gabriel Sandoval. I'm the College of Career Advisor at Kirby Middle School. We have our art class that came and made a banner. So they made this awesome banner. Look at this Wounded Warrior Project. Anything else? The Great American logo. <laughs> and they even drew me out on there. And they signed it too, huh? That's too cool, yeah, man. Thank they, you so much. They did all the hard work on that. And you share my last name? Yes, we do. That's awesome, man. It's a good last name, brother. Yes, it is. I often say one of the best things about <laughs> riding motorcycles are the people, and then reconnecting with those people after long trips. And I got my boy Chase with me today. What's happening, man? Good, I'm loose. How you doing? And your dad, Mike, how you doing? I'm happy to be here with two hands. Yeah. They both rode with me down uh, through the Baja of Mexico. Except the day before we left, you broke your hands. Yes, both of them. <laughs> but you ended up with a great seat. I had a front row seat and a tour guide. Hey, this is Bobby with Red River Harley, and with your help, we were able to raise $1,082 today for Wounded Warrior Project. Yes! On a Wednesday! I rode Captain Nico, and the convoy begins. So that was a ride in. It was a few hours to get here, but you ride through some of the most desolate, flat, uh, dead territory. I mean, some of the, that area you just ride in, there's not even a tree. You know, this side of Texas is not the most beautiful riding, but I will say some of the most wonderful people I've experienced on the road. Uh, in fact, if you read my book, I think I wrote about the Midland Odessa area uh, because I was trying to fundraise and back then nobody would show up. I'd be by myself often. And you know, I might ride for days and only raise you know, very little money, nothing like it is today. And I remember coming through this area, it was fairly early in my campaign, I didn't have a lot of support, and this hog chapter took me out to a dinner and they raised, I wanna say, I'm going off memory, I could be wrong, I wanna say like $500. And it was like the biggest check I'd gotten and the most money I'd ever raised uh, on my riding around the country. And I remember literally crying tears because so many people had just turned their back to me and not believed in me and told me I couldn't do it or told me I wasn't doing it good enough, but I kept riding every day. I stayed stubborn, I chased my dreams. And in the end, it was this very area we're at today that uh, showed me probably the most support and the most love early in my campaign. And to this day, I can remember the emotion I felt over myself that day. Life has changed a lot for me, and a lot of it started right here in West Texas. 